So we're focusing on the outboard rig bundle of rack extensions here. And there's a pretty huge amount of extensions in the whole collection. And in this first chapter, we're going to concentrate on the more basic processes, the processes that are probably less feature rich and a little bit more straightforward, but they are in fact workhorse processes and pretty essential and really great additions to the bundle. Right at the beginning here, we're looking at the probably the most basic rack extension in the entire group, in the entire bundle, but by no means is this the least useful. It's the Salig gain control. I hope I'm pronouncing Salig correctly. And on the left here, we've got quite an interesting addition that I wasn't really expecting to see. And this is a fade control. When you set the fade at zero, it will just mute the entire thing. But if you set it at a certain time and you can see the time as we sort of fade up, this will give you sort of a nice linear fade. And this is very much like the fade you're gonna see on an SSL channel compressor, a bus compressor, a G series, and on other high-end console outputs. So it's really useful to be able to just quickly fade something. And obviously you can put this on your master bus right at the end, but it's nice to have that and it works very nicely. So let's have a listen to that in action. I've got it set to eight seconds here. Classic 80s fade. <laughs> and you can see if we set it to zero, it just mutes the output. So that works as a mute button. Then we've got a fader, obviously, which is sort of the main star of the show, really. And we've got it in VCA or trim mode. VCA will start at unit e gain, and trim mode unit e gain is in the center. And you can trim it up or down. VCA is obviously just attenuation, really. It's very smooth. And it gives you, you know, extra or less gain in trim mode. And in VCA, just allows you to attenuate the level. We've then got a phase reversal or polarity invert control, a mono control. We've got left and right individual pan controls, which is really cool. And you can even change the pan law up here. So it's really nice that you can, you know, reduce the stereo image like this and, you know, exactly how you want it. So it's, if you've got a sound that needs specific treatment to the stereo field, that's going to be really useful. We've then got a peak hold, which you could probably see in action and you can reset this and have it on auto as well got a little gain meter as we have at the beginning so we've got an input and an output gain meter and just all in all really useful the rear is pretty simple we've got some cv inputs to modulate the fader the pan left and right and outputs as well for these and then we've got main inputs and main outputs with cv and audio just so you can have it as an insert really straightforward really useful and something i think reason has been missing up until this point we're going to take a look at another couple of rack extensions by Selig now, a leveler and a de -esser.